So in this video I will talk about a character that is pronounced Li in the third tone. And um, the meaning of this character uh, today is, uh, I mean the most frequent meaning that we know today uh, can be found in the words uh, 这里 and 那里, which means here and there. So basically it is, I think the, if we look at the morpheme itself, it could be sort of traced back to the meaning of inside of something. But originally uh, this character used to be a length measure, uh, which was a, a basically a Chinese mile or a half mile which I think was about 600 meters and it used to be a length of one side of a Chinese village uh, which was uh, about 25 households big if I remember the numbers correctly and um, you know um, Chinese cities and towns and villages were built usually were built in uh, like square shaped um, habitats um, and so one one side of that square was was uh, basically one li if the village was about 25 households big so this is what it what it used to mean today it is found in the words like uh, 这里 and 那里 which means here and there and the the character that you see on your screen is the traditional uh, variant of this character the simplified one is basically just just this element over here without uh, the the element on the left uh, the element on the on the left actually is pronounced e. E. I was thinking that it might have been the uh, actually the phonetic element, uh, but um, I don't. I mean, I'm not an expert by far uh, for for Chinese characters. I'm only uh, talking about what I've read or what I've learned. So it was just a wild guess. Uh, in either case, uh, whenever you see a character that has this element in it. The, it will probably the pronunciation of that character will probably have to to do something with Li or will be similar similar to to this pronunciation. So so this already is uh, a phonetic element in many other characters. All right, so let me show you how to write it. So we start with the left element. This is one stroke written like this. Then you do the vertical one. And then these two strokes, so one, two, like this, and then you do the sort of you don't finish the whole box because you continue with the first horizontal, second horizontal, third horizontal, then the long vertical, and then you close it off with the bottom horizontal stroke. So one more time, one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. What you shouldn't do is what I exactly did is that you should not cross uh, the lines. It's better if they don't touch at all. It looks something like this. If it looks something like this, even though it looks really bad, but they don't touch because if they cross, it might resemble a different character, and that's that's wrong. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the presentation and uh, I will see you in the next one.